Hey guys, this is our second video on the channel Optometry for You. This video is more focused on the different type of tints and filters that are used in daily life. This presentation is used for the education purpose only. All copyrights and trademarks of images belong to their respective IP owners and are used under fair use for education purposes. The topics that will be covered in this presentation are What is glare? Types of glare? Types of tinted lenses and their manufacturing process and their application. Apart from that, we will also learn about the transmittance by the tinted lenses, infrared and UV light filters and photochromatic filters that are available in the market. So now let's understand about glare. Glare is an effect that is experienced due to the high intensity of light that falls in the visual field and causes a visual discomfort. This can usually happen due to the presence of direct source of light such as sun headlight and it can also happen due to the indirect source of light like reflection. The reduced visual acuity is caused due to the excessive illuminance that results in the bleaching of retinal receptors and that is a cause of the glare that we usually see. Glare is broadly classified into two types, veiling glare and scotomatic glare. Veiling glare occurs when the light is scattered over the retina that reduces the contrast of retinal image, reducing the detailed perception of image. Veiling glare usually increases with age due to the formation of cataract, reducing the transparency of crystalline lens. The protection from veiling glare is usually provided with the help of sunglass and brimmed hat. Scotomatic glare arises when an intense source of light is present in the field of view where the photoreceptor molecules are bleached and they cause discomfort and disability glare. In case of discomfort glare, you will be able to see the source with a discomfort and in the case of disability glare, you won't be able to view the source of origination of light itself. The person can get rid from the glare by removing the glare source, also by using the tinted lenses that reduces the glare and asthenopia, replacing the glossy surface with the absorbent surface and by changing the direction of the glare. The tinted lenses are classified as follows. A lens which is uniformly tinted will have the dye that is uniformly spread over the surface of a lens. In case of a gradu tint, the intensity of the tint will be more at the top of a lens with reducing intensity over the surface as we move down. Double gradient tinted lenses use a combination of two colors where they tint the complete surface of the lens. In case of a photochromic lens, the lens darkens on the exposure to the UV rays and clears out on the removal of the UV ray. The tinted lenses are usually manufactured in two phase. One is by dipping process and another is by the laminating and bonding process. When the power of lens is low, the tint gets evenly distributed over the surface of the lens. Whereas in the case of high power lenses, there is an uneven distribution of the tint over the surface of the lens. In case of dipping process, the finished lens is placed in a dye under high temperature where the tint penetrates the surface by 1 mm and is evenly distributed. The other way of tinting is by the laminating and bonding process where the tinting is not done on the substrate but it is done using the wafer thin tinted films that are bonded together and are sandwiched within the lens. So now let's understand about the application of tinted lenses. The grey tinted lens is neutral in color perception and provides the protection from the sun without distorting the color integrity. Green color tint provides neutral color perception with color enhancement and general protection from the sun and driving. Brown tint provides the contrast and depth perception by filtering the blue light and it is also useful for the bright sunlight, driving and golf. 
Yellow tint is useful for the color enhancement, useful for driving, cycling, tennis, shooting. Orange tint is useful for elimination of the blue light and it improves the ability of tracking as well as in the sports like shooting, skiing and hunting. Red color is used in the color enhancement and it improves the skill like fishing and shooting. Violet color also helps in the color enhancement for the athletes. Contrast enhancement can improve the vision while driving, improving the depth perception and tracking objects in the visual field. Clear lens that falls in the category 0, where the transmission is 80 to 100%, there is no restriction while driving, whereas in class 1 to 4, the driving restrictions are there, and based on the intensity of the tint, the transmission of light is related and is summarized as below. In class 1, it comprises of the light tint that is useful in low sunlight allowing a transmission of 43 to 80% of light. Class 2 comprises of a medium tint where the medium sunlight is allowed to pass and it allows a transmission of 18 to 43%. In class 3, it comprises of a dark tint which is useful in bright sunlight allowing 8 to 18% of transmission of light. Class 4, it comprises of a very dark tint and is used in exceptional cases where the bright light is present, transmitting 3 to 5 percent of the entire light. So now, let's discuss about the infrared absorbing filters. On the exposure of the infrared rays, it leads to the development of cataract, retinal and choroidal lesions and also results in the bleaching of retinal visual pigments. This infrared rays exposure usually takes place through sun and heat furnaces. So there is a presence of a chemical compound ferrous oxide that results in the development of the green color in these lenses. Only polycarbonate lens amongst the group of the plastic lenses provides the protection from the infrared ray exposure. So now let's understand about the ultraviolet absorbing filter. On the exposure to the UV rays, it leads to the development of aging, irritation, watering of eyes. It also results in the development of the swelling, impaired dark adaptation and nucleosclerotic cataract. The UV rays exposure usually takes place due to the welding and other outdoor activities like farming. So there is a presence of a chemical compound called cerium oxide that results in the coloration of pink to brown tint and lenses like polycarbonate, trivex, photochromatic lens provides a protection to this UV rays. So now let's understand about the photochromatic filters. The photochromatic material usually darkens when exposed to the radiation from the blue end of the spectrum. The photochromic phenomenon is produced due to the silver halide in the glass and spiropyrins in the plastic. The halide decomposes into silver and halogen and this results in the coloration of the lens. The factors that affect the photochromatic nature of the lens are the lens thickness, the spectral distribution of the radiation, the light level that is present and the glass temperature. So now let's understand about the method of producing the photochromatic lens. There are three ways in which the photochromatic lens can be produced. The first way of production is by placing the layer of photochromatic surface between the two surfaces of the lens. The another way of producing the photochromatic lens is by mixing the photochromatic monomer in the substrate. The third way of producing it is by placing the laminating form over the surface of the lens. So now, we will be discussing about the activation of the photochromatic filter. The UV light activates the molecule and breaks it into the carbon and oxygen bond. Then these molecules arrange themselves and produce the color when the UV light is removed. And then they return to their original state where the lens becomes transparent again. This is the way the photochromatic filter works. 
the photochromatic material is usually classified as light, medium, dark, extra dark, where the light transmission is controlled in a range of 15 to 80 percent of light transmission. Thanks for watching the video. This is my email ID and the link for the other videos are mentioned in the description below. Please like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to Optometry for you. Thank you.